Hello guys, this is Poison Claw. This is the very end game variant of Storm Claw. In order to run this build, you're going to want to have Enderial's Visage and X-Fall's Ring. But if you're already doing Storm Claw, this will be an easy transition for you. Keep in mind that all the gameplay you're seeing is of a character that doesn't have Enderial's Visage, has only one level 15 glyph, and most of the glyphs are level 1. I'm also missing some aspects and I haven't replaced certain pieces of gear. So you can be much tankier and much higher damage than what you see. Even so, right now, I could kill Uber Lilith and clear a tier 100 dungeon. Not to mention all of the other uber bosses. So if you want to do insane damage and have insane survivability, this build is fantastic. Alright, let's get into the build. We've got our claw, which is our main damage source. We have debilitating roar, which is a great way to reduce enemy damage. It also activates some of our bear passives. We've got blood howl. This is going to be for an attack speed buff. It's going to heal us and activate our defensive passive. We've got hurricane. This is going to reduce enemy damage by 20% and deal a little bit of damage. We've got trample. This is a great way to move around, stun a priority target, or break CC if you need it. Uh, keep in mind that we can also break CC with our Metamorphosis Vampire Power. So anytime we dash, we can break CC. And for ultimate, we've also got Petrify. This is a great AoE stun, but it's also really good for ramping up our damage on bosses. With our Flicker Step Boots, we can reduce the cooldown of Petrify extremely fast. For the Spirit Boons, we're doing Wariness, Scythe Talons, Iron Feather, Calamity, and Overload. For our unique items, we're going to want Endarial's Visage, Tibalt's Will, Flicker Step, Great Staff for the Crone, and X-Fall's Corroded Signet. If you're taking too much damage, you can easily swap Tibalt's Will out, but I highly recommend it if you feel like you're good. If you have the build put together, you shouldn't have any trouble wearing this. For Aspects, we're going to do Aspect of Might on the Chest, Overcharged on the Gloves, Rapid Aspect on the Amulet, and Mighty Storm's Aspect on our other ring. For our Gems, we're going to do Emerald for the Weapon, Ruby for the Armor, and Diamond for the Jewelry. Now the reason we do emerald on the weapon is because we're not focusing purely on our basic skill damage like the old storm claws. We have a lot of damage coming from our X falls, our Andarials, our overcharged, our infection, and our cursed touch. All of these damage types can benefit from emerald, whereas if we put topaz on, only our basic attack would be benefited. Now for our vampiric powers, we have a couple of options here. So we can either go moonrise with infection and anticipation, or we can choose to take Moonrise and replace it with Ravenous, which will lower the cost by 3, which means we can choose other things besides Infection and Anticipation. Some good choices here are Prey on the Weak and Hemomancy. Your choice here will depend on the type of content that you're doing. I tend to prefer Hemomancy when I'm doing things like Helltides or running through a dungeon. For a skill tree, we're going to max out Storm Strike and Claw, and we're going to grab Wild Claw and Fierce Storm Strike. Next, we're going to max out all three of the passives here. Then we're going to move down, max out both of the passives here, Grab one point in debilitating roar, one point in blood howl, and we're going to get preserving blood howl. Next, we're taking one point in elemental exposure, two points in endless tempest, and three points in bad omen. We're grab one point in hurricane, and one point in savage hurricane. We'll also be grabbing one point in trample, and we're going to max out in venom and put one point in toxic claws. For ult, we're going to grab petrify, and we're only going to grab the one point in prime petrify. We'll max out defiance. Grab one point in quick shift just so we can get to heightened senses and max that out. For our keystone passive, we're going with earth and might. We're able to activate this because we're using the aspect, Mighty Storm's aspect. For our Paragon board, we're going to be grabbing the Keeper Glyph on our first board. Our second board will be Heightened Malice, where we're going to grab Fang and Claw. Then we're going to move over to the Thunderstruck board, where we're going to grab Spirit. We'll move back across, and we're going to grab Werewolf on our Inner Beast board. Next, we'll move down. We're going to grab the Constricting Tendrils board, and we're going to get Territorial here. Moving all the way back across to the top left, we're going to put Ancestral Guidance on. And we're putting tracker here our goal with these boards was to apply bonuses to as many damage types as possible rather than specific damage types because we have poison lightning damage physical and everything in between in our board we want to make sure that we're hitting everything there's also a good amount of survivability tucked in here for our skill rotation we're going to want to activate hurricane we're going to dash into the enemies or use our trample to get in there we're going to start swiping the enemies with claw if it's a dangerous group you might want to pop petrify first you can also use debilitating roar as another way to weaken the enemies you're going to use Blood Howl to give yourself that attack speed boost and activate that Vigilance passive. And you're going to want to dash through big groups of enemies because Metamorphosis is going to apply damage to them all. And you're also going to reduce your old cooldown with Flicker Step. When you activate a defensive skill, it'll shoot all of the accursed souls at the enemies. We get accursed souls from dashing through enemies with Metamorphosis and from our lucky hit on our basic skills.
And that's everything. I hope you guys enjoy this build. I think it's amazing. And I can't wait to max it out. I'll see you guys on my stream. Daddy Drew it out.